I probably wouldn't be here if I didn't have an airbag in my suit. And in fact, I know I wouldn't be because I wouldn't be dead. The next step in rider protection or evolution in technology is obviously airbags. We've worked with Innomotion to integrate their technology into our products. So we basically built RST suits around the Innomotion technology. They're a fantastic partner to work with and it clearly increases the level of protection for our riders. The obvious benefits of having an airbag is the extra protection you need in an accident and the fact it's electronically operated means you can have a much larger amount of active protection in the suit than you would be able to achieve just with passive protectors. We're always looking at making sure our products have the maximum level of protection so it's a clear advantage having an electronically activated airbag that can detect the accident and be deployed before you need it. The light motive of Inemotion is tech saves lives. So we designed airbag technologies. In the case of the TT, the main mission is to save life, but also to allow riders to continue racing during all the way. And the TT is just unique. You have some big jumps, you have some crazy speeds. So we need to design an adapted algorithm. And so we work together to create an algorithm only for the tourist trophy. We launched the new algorithm only for professional riders. It's super specific. And the base is the track algorithm and we just adapt some settings to allow an additional security. I've obviously raced the TT long before airbags were invented and honestly the ceiling is so much better having it especially at an event like the TT where the risk factor is so much higher. I think the feeling of being comfortable and safe is obviously a big benefit to your confidence and the more confidence you have then the faster you ride your motorbike. So having that aspect of having the airbag in the suit is definitely going to be confidence inspiring. I think the most important reason for most people is the fact that if they have a little off on a track day on a Saturday or Sunday, they can still go to work on a Monday because most people still need to go to work. That's probably more important for the everyday user to be able to have a little slide off and not do a collarbone or something like that because they've got an airbag. I think the Isle of Man TT is the ultimate proving ground for any rider gear, but for a product to work at the Isle of Man, for the mileage that those riders put on their suit over the, the two week race period, and for the level of danger there is, we're always looking to offer the maximum level of protection. So having a product that works at the Isle of Man, frankly, if it works there, it will work anywhere else in the world. Our goal was to build the airbag suit to feel like a regular suit. So from the rider's perspective, you wouldn't know any difference whether you're wearing a, an airbag equipped suit or a non-airbag equipped suit. So that means there's no restriction to their movement, they don't get any hotter. The feedback has been nothing but positive that when the airbag needs to deploy, it deploys, but it's not in the way or doesn't affect the rider at any other time when they're racing. We work a lot with RST to develop the future of the airbag. It can be in the software, it can be in the hardware, but all the feedbacks from the rider are taken in account to develop the the next version.